I'm Aton Shannon with Osimo here for Jock Market. We have three plays for you Wednesday night in the NBA. But before that, we want you to sign up at Jock Market and use our promo code Osimo, A W E S E M O, and we're going to match your first deposit up to $50. Jock Market, as you know, where we turn DFS into the stock market, and we want to take advantage of everything. Not only the fair IPO price that you're going to get on Osimo, courtesy of Alex, ahead of time, but also game flows. That's the difference at Jock Market versus every other site. So take advantage of that, just like our promo code here. Let's jump in. Joel Embiid is going to be the first guy we target up at the top. A couple of middle-range guys we're going to hit you with as well. But Embiid had the night off on Monday. Huge games win, really, for the Sixers without Embiid. Full rest. I can tell you this. Joel Embiid is as fueled to win the MVP as he is to win the championship. So every time that he misses a game, it's killing him inside. He's going to come out and smash Washington. Sixers win aside. This is just all about playing Joel Embiid. And I think you're going to get a really strong first quarter, even first half. So if the Sixers are up big and Joel Embiid has dropped 25 to 27 points, may look at start dumping those shares in game simply because Things are going to slow down for him, especially coming off that planned rest day. He's not hurt. He's not banged up. He doesn't need more rest right now. But this is all about managing for the future minutes, at least for the uh, playoffs. And I can tell you this, that Joel Embiid is as motivated to slam and get back into discussion about him winning the MVP as he is just to come out and win this game. So expect him to do at least make up for lost time. Josh Giddy is our next play here. And we're going to take advantage of just heavy volume. They're at Dallas, the Thunder. We also know that SGA is out. Gilgis Alexander not being out on the floor is open things up for Giddy and also running the point here. So we expect a lot of stats to just bump up beyond scoring, and that's really evident what we saw. Only four assists, but look, definitely has a rebounding advantage. We see him take advantage of that, and also we can expect him to continue to score some points here. So, at the very least, Josh Giddy's going to be out there on the floor against the Mavs a lot. Blowout or not, this is going to be a really good opportunity to target Giddy, and I also think that just take a look at the game flow here, right? Um, Thunder are not going to come in and slam the Mavericks or at least hold that lead over Dallas. So, if the Thunder can steal a quarter and Giddy has exploded all of a sudden in the first half, and here are the Thunder down two or up eight, what have you. Again, it's all about in-game as much as it is gauging where the fair IPO value is for a player ahead of time. Might be interesting to see where Giddy's value is if, in fact, that's the case. The conventional wisdom here is that Dallas is just going to smash the thunder into the ground. But again, stranger things have happened even with an 11 and a half point dog on the road. But we definitely want to target at the very least Giddy simply because of the extended minutes, the volume of shooting, and also just his ability to really take advantage of mismatches when it comes to rebounding. We should anticipate a double-double at the very least, even against that Mavs backcourt. All right, last play here is, again, pay attention to what's going on. We're recording these earlier in the day. We keep telling you to pay attention to who's in, who's out. Things change by the second, but... It does look like Anthony Simons is going to play. Lakers defense calling them porous would be a compliment on the perimeter. Simons is jacking up threes left and right. This has 20 plus all written all over him, really. Powell is knocking down shots as well, just not getting the volume from three. CJ McCollum a little volatile. Simons, at the very least, you know you're getting a ton of volume when it comes from three-point shots. So alone, I think we can look at him taking advantage of that Lakers defense and really getting to a 18 to 22-point floor is not difficult for Simons with the amount of volume we'll see from not only just three-point shots, but just across the board. And again, all about where we are, the game flow. We're targeting these guys ahead of time, but if things are working out exceptionally well, like Simons is five of seven and the Blazers are up by 18, 20 points, then you may want to dump because I think that's a very realistic scenario, at the very least, that Simons has those points. I don't know them being up by 20 with the Lakers, but we take advantage of where Simons is in game like Giddy and especially Joel Embiid. So there you have it. We're going to target Embiid, Josh Giddy, Anthony Simons, 
Keep paying attention to see who's in, who's out. That's going to be huge when it comes to minutes, when it comes to volume, and also our fair IPO price that Alex has put together for you on Awesome. I'm Aton Shander. A reminder, use our promo code A-W-E-S-E-M-O. That's it, Awesome. When you sign up to Jock Market and we'll match your first deposit up to $50. Have a great night.